The FTX group's collapse appears to stem from absolute concentration of control in the hands of a small group of grossly inexperienced and unsophisticated individuals who failed to implement virtually any of the systems or controls that are necessary for a company entrusted with other people's money or assets. This is really old-fashioned and embezzlement. This is just taking money from customers and using it for your own purpose. Not sophisticated at all. That was FTX Group's new CEO, John Ray, describing the state of the company's financials that led to its demise. And indeed, proof of reserve statements for crypto exchanges have certainly come into question as fear and doubt shadow the very institutions entrusted with investors' money. So much so that even the work of auditors is being closely watched. Mazars, the auditing firm working with Binance and other exchanges on proof of reserve statements, has paused all work for crypto clients after vetting them. Binance confirming this suspension to Yahoo Finance, adding that its capital structure is debt-free and that over the past week it passed a stress test that should give the community, quote, extraordinary comfort that their funds are secure. So in a nutshell, the events seen and experienced for some during crypto winter have centered around proof of reserves and corresponding liquidity. So as defined by crypto.com, proof of reserves is intended to allow customers a means of assessing an institution's solvency and liquidity in the context of recent developments in the crypto industry, aiming to improve transparency and customer trust. So the decision by Mazars to pause its auditing to crypto firms delivers a major blow to the industry as crypto companies have claimed the big four firms are unable to sign deals with them or even audit a crypto exchange. Though Coinbase works with Deloitte for its own statements. Now, what you also need to know about this is what takes place within that process of the auditing. And there's something that's known as a Merkle tree. Now, this was invented back in 1979 by Ralph Merkel. And this is essentially a commitment scheme within crypto cryptography that really makes sure as you go down from the commitment at the top, the root of it, all the way and in certain layers, as you go layer by layer, ensure ensuring that on each side of that layer and each side of that tree, that there is a balancing of where there was the original commitment. And so that is where the proof of reserve study really moves forward. And so that is where we will see even more focus within this cryptocurrency landscape.